I'm here today to introduce uh, Apache Dolphin Scheduler. First, uh, I'll introduce myself. I'm William Kwok. I'm an ISF member and uh, also IPSC's member. And I'm the PMC of uh, Apache Dolphin Scheduler. And I'm the mentor of uh, Apache C Tunnel and also the founder of uh, Clearhouse China Community. And uh, also, I'm the track chair of Workflow and the Data Governance of Apache Kong Asia. Uh, in 2021, 2022. And also, we have some session about Airflow, <laughs> the same. And uh, I used to work at Lenovo uh, and IBM and Teradata and uh, CSCC. And I uh, have more than uh, 20 years of experience of big data technology and data management. And uh, here is the agenda. And uh, first, we can look at the big picture of uh, uh, the uh, data architect in the enterprise. You see, uh, there are two ways of uh, using data. The first way is we call it uh, streaming data. You can see there that, that will generate data from IoT or weblog or social media. And then you can collect the data, uh, use a C-Tunnel agent or other agent, and then transfer the data using uh, Flink, Spark, or C-Tunnel engine to uh, direct to Kafka or to the Apache Doris or to Redshift or to Clearhouse, and then use a superset or other tools to, 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 to do the visualization. This is the real time way. And also we have another, we call the fetch data way. And then you collect data from a rational database or cloud database or, or big data or NoSQL database. And then you, you can do the, we call it CDC, that's a chain data capture or other batch data load to your lake house, like Hoodie or Snowflake or Teradata. And then you can use the things to use BI to do like a, a table or glee wheel to see the BI things, or you can do the uh, machine learning for, uh, or AI like a TensorFlow or KY Torch. And uh, Dolphin Scheduler is uh, just like the the traffic light and not only control the task, but also control the resource. For example, it can control uh, the, 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 uh, how much slot you use or every task you use in Yang or how much CPU memory you use in, in Kubernetes pod. So Dolphin schedule is just like a pipeline of, of, of all these kind of things. And uh, Dolphin Scheduler has the three main uh, workflow control functions. The first one is the batch workflow control, and uh, then data stream workflow control, and also MLOps workflow control. So, what is Dolphin Scheduler? So, you see two words, Dolphin Scheduler. The first, uh, it's a scheduler, right? It can control the task. Also, the trigger, the, 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 the dependency, and also control the resource. And the other word is dolphin. So you know the, the animal dolphin. Yes, it's very lovely, with lovely animal. And the dolphin has two brands. And that means uh, dolphin scatterla is a, a distributed system. It also has a, a multi master and a multi worker. So you can extend many, many worker and many, many uh, uh, master. And uh, they walk at the same time. And the dolphin never sleep. Uh, and the dolphin scatter never failed. So this is the word dolphin. And also you can see the, the, uh, it, it's uh, dolphin, dolphin is very smart and it can interact with, with few men. And the dolphin scatterer is very easy to use. And uh, it's just, you can use a uh, drag and a drop to create a workflow without code and get a, a what you see and what you get as a workflow. So just like the picture, you can drag the task just from here and create your uh, uh, AWS EMR job, or your PY Torch job, or your SQL procedure job, or the word passing job, and uh, just uh, type the script or, or pass it. You need it. You need it to create a workflow uh, as uh, use a uh, uh, passing or other other uh, other other kind. And uh, so this is uh, this uh, the the main feature of a Dolphin Scheduler, and also for the architecture, you see. Here is uh, the architecture of the Dolphin Scheduler. So many master server, you can extend master server from one, two, three, and to many, many master servers. And also there's many, many worker server. 
So it's uh, we call decentralized the the uh, the architect uh, the, the the decentralized architecture of uh, Dolphin Scheduler. So uh, every each master server and each work server are working in the same time. So you, it's a scalable and it can deploy on Kubernetes. So it's very easy to use if you are if you are in a cloud native environment. And uh, so Dolphin Scheduler is a cloud native real scheduler engine with high stability. It can solve the problem of uh, uh, the multi-task unit dependency in the trigger. And uh, you, it is uh, uh, scheduling with a realization at the various uh, task categories. And uh, it's a decentralized design and they have high uh, stability and availability. And uh, now it uh, can support in millions of data and tasks running simultaneously. So now uh, about uh, 1,000 active enterprise users, and we have uh, more than uh, 400 contributors now. And it passed, uh, it just, uh, uh, it opened source uh, four years ago. So here is a uh, Dolphin scattered history, and uh, it's uh, open source in uh, 2019, and uh, entered the, the Apache Equator in uh, 2019 uh, in the August. And then the first release is released on uh, uh, the December uh, 2019. And uh, uh, Apache Dolphin scattered to be a top level Apache project in 2021. And then we released a 1.9 and uh, Dolphin scattered to support SVI and the condition task and the sub task. tasks, so a lot of tasks at, at that time. And then we released uh, Apache Dolphin scheduler 2.0. It can, it, the performance <laughs> is very high and uh, support Kubernetes. And uh, in the 2022, we just released a uh, two, uh, 3.0, which has a new UI and uh, it released a data quality task, which means you just can control the task if the, the data quality is, is not right in the uh, the the next task will not be triggered, and also we su support AWS uh, at the three point zero, and uh, we just released our three point one, uh, and uh, this version we support data stream and uh, ML orchestration, and also we support Kubernetes operator. So many many users uh, just uh, use uh, Dolphin scheduler. Uh, I think it's more than one thousand, and some typical. Use case is just like this. One is uh, they have a many many tasks, uh, just like a China Unicom. It has a more than I think one million tasks and uh, uh, one hundred thousand tasks in one second. So uh, it, it, there are that about uh, seventy eight servers uh, of a Dolphin scheduler called cluster to support about uh, uh, one, one, uh, one uh, 10,000 uh, 10, servers so, so or so cluster of Hadoop. So this, uh, I think, is the most big big user uh, in, in China. And uh, just like uh, Ping and Alibaba Cloud using use Dolphin Scatter the same way, that, that just support high performance, high volumes of uh, task gathering. And the other people like Shane, Cisco, and McDonald and VMware, uh, they just use Dolphin Scheduler to support their global cloud de deployment with ease of use data consumers. Shane has uh, the infra built on Kubernetes on AWS, and uh, it deployed uh, uh, the Dolphin Scheduler and the Spot on Kubernetes. And uh, uh, Dolphin Scheduler just support support all of that. And the third scenario is uh, machine learning optimization. Just like uh, three uh, three sixty row and the Lige FM, uh, they use Dolphin Scheduler to build their machine learning process and uh, reuse the machine learning process and this preparation task. And uh, this is some uh, typical use case, and uh, uh, I will introduce uh, later. So there's many many good features in Dolphin Scheduler, and uh, the first one is uh, we call it it's good. Uh, Task DAG. DAG is uh, we call the direct uh, SQLite graph. That means a task dependency and a task trigger. 
And uh, the first uh, the feature is uh, to support real time monitor of uh, task status. Then you can see uh, everything on, on the graph and uh, you just click uh, no need to to type code to to see the what happened in in your uh, uh, in your workflow and uh, in uh, in Dolphin Scheduler we support more than twenty uh, task types such like uh, shell, MapReduce, Spark, SQL, and uh, dependency and uh, a trigger and uh, other things. And also we support workflow priority and the task priority because we can support the resource management and then. Dolphin Scheduler can support the the priority of uh, 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 of your job. For example, if you have many many tasks, sometimes you will use some slot in Yang, or sometimes you sometimes use uh, some uh, pod in Kubernetes, and you can automatically change the the memory or the slot with the priority. And also, we support global parameters and customer advice parameters. And uh, uh, there are some other tasks like uh, dependent or manual impact and the pause and the stop and the resume on, on the interface. So it's very easy to use. And in Dolphin Scheduler, uh, it is supported multi-tenancy and multi-projects. That means because Dolphin Scheduler is uh, one cluster and it control many, many, many tasks, you need them to, con you need them to build many, many instance for, for Dolphin Scheduler. So, so in Dolphin Scheduler Master, you can, uh, you can create a projects and a multi-tenant to control your, uh, your, 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 uh, your user's privilege. And, uh, then you, you can use that, then you can maintain the Dolphin Scheduler very easily. And, uh, also, uh, we have on lo online log viewing and, uh, uh, resource online management and, uh, also there's uh, some uh, alert system in Dolphin Scheduler by email, by SMS, or by phone, and uh, it can very easily to use. And because it's decentralized design, so it's uh, very stable and uh, uh, it it can support uh, what <laughs> it support the task of one one million more than one billion tasks in the same time. And here are the, some basic uh, 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 functions of Dolphin Scheduler. It's just like the UI. It just uh, you you uh, you uh, drag and drop to create your workflow, and uh, uh, you just uh, we have the we call a sub process. That means this is a DAG workflow, and uh, this workflow can be uh, uh, a task of another workflow. It just like a, a sub sub process. And then you can uh, use reuse many process uh, of your workflow. And by a sub -work, sub -work, a sub workflow, and here are the visualization of running workflow. You can see, you know, uh, which one, which tasks are running now, and uh, which one is failure. And if you click this task, you can see the log on in this interface. You need to log out Hadoop or EMR or other things. You can see the logs in this interface, and also we use a. Uh, uh, task management, we have a uh, multi-level monitoring and uh, you see the, the workflow, workflow uh, uh, status and also you can see the detail logs in the interface. And uh, now here we have uh, many, many uh, data sources we can support. That means you can define uh, the data source in, in one place and uh, it can reuse for each task uh, for, for your users. And uh, we have some uh, some uh, very interesting tasks, such like uh, condition task. That means you drag drag and drop to create a workflow, and this task can just like a if and a switch, and uh, uh, it it can run different ways if the result is different in your workflow. And also we have another uh, task called a dependent task. That means you uh, in your workflow, this task can depends on other workflows tasks and uh, it can can create a very complicated workflow and uh, now we support multi cloud and multi kubernetes and multi big data environments that means you can create uh, several uh, uh, kubernetes or cloud jobs in one 
uh, Dolphin Scheduler cluster. So it's very easy to use to and to manage your environment. And uh, in we support uh, Java service product interface. That means it's very easy to extend to your own task and data source. We have a alert, alert API, then you can very easily to implement your own alert system in your own in our company. And also we have a data source SPI and you can extend other data source, uh, data source in your company. And also we have a, a task a, a SPI, that means you can create your own task type and uh, very easy to, to use. So here are some uh, new features about 3.1. Uh, uh, we have a simple and what to see, what to get workflow in 2.0 and a high reliability in this, uh, in this version. And also we, we support rich workflow functions and the cloud native is tensible in 2.0. And in two, uh, in 3.10, we just uh, support uh, ML orchestration. Uh, we, we can just use Dolphin Scheduler to do uh, data preparation and machine learning ops. And now we support uh, MLflow, SageMaker, DVC, Jupyter, PyTorch, and uh, we we will support Kubeflow, TensorFlow, and uh, Bint, uh, Bento ML very soon. And also in a three point uh, three point one version, we support data stream. That means in in DAG you can use uh, Flink and Spark streaming support. That means uh, there's many many Tasks like uh, you perhaps there's a flink flink uh, uh, flink task that is synchronized data from uh, other data sources. Then in your data lake, perhaps you will use the, the data from a flink to create your batch jobs. And if you if there are some uh, some error on the flink jobs, and uh, the the whole DAG will stop because the dependency and the trigger. So we can support data stream support in 3.10, and also we support data uh, data stream workflow, and you can manage uh, manage Spark and uh, uh, Spark streaming at the Flink in your uh, in Dolphin Scheduler, and also we support Python uh, YAML uh, workflow support. Some people like to use Python to generate the DAG, where it's a YAML file to generate the DAG. We support that in uh, 3.10. And also, we it has the Kubernetes support in, in 3.10. So here are the new feature of uh, PY Dolphin Scheduler. It's uh, some, sometimes it's just like an airflow. You can generate your, your DAG with uh, Python, uh, and uh, it's very, and, or you can generate your uh, DAG with YAML file. So uh, everyone can use use Dolphin Scheduler. Not only uh, the the data analysts or other people, uh, the coder uh, can code their 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 things in Dolphin Scheduler. And also we support ML orchestration. Uh, we we know that there is uh, some problems of uh, orchestration in ML ops. Uh, the efficiency of a machine learning uh, learning cycle and uh, the efficiency of a machine learning system to connect them with other system, for example, the data preparation. And uh, now we can support that in, in Dolphin Scheduler. For example, um, we support machine learning workflow in Dolphin Scheduler. Here are some tasks, uh, tasks. and uh, here is the data preparation, here is a training data, here is a deployment, here is a verification. So. Each task is a sub workflow, and uh, in this in this sub workflow, you can see here is uh, use the Spark to prepare the data, and uh, here use the uh, acid maker to to train the data, and uh, you you just uh, need need to to code. You just uh, drag and drop to create the things like this, and also we support. Uh, Workflow between Spark and SageMakers. You see, this is a SageMaker task. You can define the SageMaker in AWS, and uh, then you refer them to to the Dolphin Scheduler. And uh, now you use a Spark to to do the preparation data. And uh, then this this is the whole. This will be a, a, a workflow uh, to from the training data to uh, from the preparation to the training data. 
So now we support some types of uh, ML ops like uh, data management. We support DVC, SageMaker, and then we support fe feature store at like uh, OpenMLDB and uh, model training. We support Shell, Python, Jupyter, MLflow, PyTorch, and SageMaker. And also we s support deployment with Shell, Python, MLflow, SageMaker. And uh, also we support some uh, model management. So we support all life cycle of, uh, uh, of machine learning. So uh, here are some uh, user scenario for uh, the, the Jupyter, for the ML ops. For Jupyter, we support uh, schedule to execute machine learning notebooks, such as uh, model training, and uh, schedule to execute data analysis and data visualization notebooks. And uh, we can run the notebook with different parameters. And for ML, um, MLflow task plugin, we support run the pres, uh, preset algorithm and run custom ML projects and deploy the ML, ML model. And for Alpine MLDB task, we support all offline feature ex extraction and online feature extraction and online and offline consistency. And also for DVC task, we, we can control or upload the data and record the version and download the version of a space of data and a large file version management based on Git repository. And also we support SageMaker and a lot of things are like that. Uh, schedule the execution of a SageMaker pipeline and connect tasks such uh, upstream big data and that click or some downstream tasks. So there's uh, some some uh, functions of uh, I'm, uh, I'm up tasks. And uh, uh, so something like Happy Red Torch. And, uh, and now we support uh, MLflow, SageMaker, OpenMDB, DVC, Jupyter, Happy Red Torch. And we will support TensorFlow, KubeFlow, Quark, Benoit ML, uh, Swing. So the, here, is, here is a function of ML um, or orchestration. So uh, let me introduce a user case of uh, Cisco, uh, how to use Dolphin Scheduler. Well, Dolphin Scheduler is de deployed with uh, Kubernetes in, uh, in Cisco. Uh, you see, there's uh, several Kubernetes clusters and uh, uh, Cisco use Flink Kubernetes and uh, Spark Kubernetes to, for the ETL. And uh, Dolphin Scheduler can control the uh, both the Flink and the Spark uh, in, in different Kubernetes cluster. And uh, by using drag and drop, and uh, Cisco can use Dolphin Scheduler, it's very easy to create their own uh, workflow. And, uh, some some of the the functions uh, features of a double scheduler is used by uh, Cisco, such as uh, uh, multi cluster management. You can see here is a we can a uh, uh, double scheduler can control different Kubernetes clusters. So you can you can just configure on uh, on double scheduler portal, and also uh, it support both self built Kubernetes cluster and the public cloud managed Kubernetes cluster. So it's very easy to keep to handle different uh, data environment. And uh, also we can uh, set CPU and memory limit for each namespace on different uh, Kubernetes clusters. And uh, we can separate resource pools for multi, multi tendency. That means different user can use different resource uh, in Dolphin scheduler. So you can control not only the task dependency, but also control the resource resource. And uh, here is uh, the uh, multi-cluster ETL job management. It's a centralized job scheduling for multi-center across the world. world. And uh, you can see uh, Cisco just uh, control uh, private data center and public cloud uh, using uh, Dolphin Scheduler to control the, all the tasks. So it has a US, US dashboard, uh, uh, Europe dashboard, and the uh, dashboard for, for AWS, all the Spark and the Flink jobs are, are controlled by one Dolphin Scheduler cluster. <laughs> and uh, it's very easy to build a, a ETL pipeline. You can just uh, drag and drop, and uh, you can generate a very complex pipeline by, by drop to drop and uh, no coding required. And it, it's automatically scaling. That means because we can control the, the task, if the task user CPU is too high or the task is too slow, it can automatically scale the task that use the resource. 
and uh, it's a uh, stateless. That means uh, you can just uh, stop and uh, resume. Uh, you you were you were cast in in this uh, uh, in the interface, and also we support UDF. We we, we can see that later, and uh, we support job version management. That means we when you save a DVG like a workflow like this, we just uh, have a snapshot of the DVG, and uh, you have a different version control, and you can roll back if you have something wrong. And uh, here is a UDF, UDF management because users always like UDF. Uh, how to control the UDF? And uh, Dolphin Scheduler can, can, can help you to control the UDF, or we have the, we call it resource center. You control the UDF or check, control the jar or control some, some files uh, using by Dolphin Scheduler or using by your file. So it's a, this is the example of uh, uh, automatically scaling. So you'll see here is uh, the uh, max record lag from Kafka. And uh, when the, uh, the Kafka lag is, uh, grow high, and uh, it can auto scale automatically. And uh, then you can see the, the CPU of, uh, of the task grow. And uh, then the, the lag of uh, Kafka uh, sh shrink uh, go going down. So this is an example for the uh, pharmaceutical. And also, because we use uh, SPI, and it's very easy to, to develop it yourself, as then Cisco develops their own SQL task conversation. Uh, they support Snowflake, and they start to contribute this task back to, for the, to the community. And uh, also support, we got absurd feature for Snowflake by Spark Vector and the sync selection. So, so man, you can develop the, your, or your own task very easily in, in Dolphin Scheduler. So here are the, some uh, resources of uh, Dolphin Scheduler. Here is a website for dolphinscheduler.org. And we have a uh, GitHub. And also you can some, say something in the, our community in, in the email, or you join the Slack. And also uh, we have a demo here. And if you want to some uh, uh, the demo account, you can uh, ask it in, in the Slack channel. And uh, I think uh, this uh, uh, this is about all about my uh, speech. Uh, Dolphin Scheduler is a smart, easy, and the stable data job acquisition tools. So here is my email and my Twitter and my LinkedIn. <laughs> so it is a Q and A. Uh, who want to ask some questions? Yeah. Uh, Hunt head tasks are stateless. What is the communication protocol between tasks, right? So when one task finishes, what does it pass off in it? Yeah, very good question. Actually, oh, that, that made, let me check. You see, if one task, if one task is finished what's next will be ran, right? This is controlled by the master server. So different master server, they have a, some a protocol like a raft protocol to, to elect who will control the, uh, the tasks, the, the, the workflow. Right. Yes. Yeah. This makes sense. But what is that? So a task must produce some output that the next one consumes potentially, right? Mm -hmm. Is that not part of the thing? Like the, is it the task's job to persist this in like a database or something? Uh, yeah, we, we, we use persistence in database and we will read, uh, we, it means metadata is stored in the database and then we read the, 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 uh, the, uh, the, the task, uh, 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 the, the task description or the, the task design into the cache and then we can know which will be uh, to do the next uh, the trigger the dependency every master server will have the the trigger and the dependency in the cache i i don't know whether that is your question right right so the task is a function right left it's it, it has some input into an output right is it yes so what what can what is the range of the types of input and output a task can produce i feel like json documents is it parquet is it uh oh it's a json it's a json that's Joseph. Yeah. Do you then produce it? Uh, yes, 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 yes. You, 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 you store JSON in cache and the uh, database. Yeah. Yeah. I see another. Oh, oh. What are the main differences between uh, dark edge scheduler and the air rules? Okay. 
Yeah, here is uh, here are some uh, uh, some uh, different. First is uh, it's a virtualization tools. You can just uh, create your job, um, drag and drop. You didn't to use a Python. Also, you can use Python or not use Python. The first is uh, you can drag it, drag and drop, and uh, the second is uh, decentralized design. So you can see there we have a multi master and a multi worker. You needed to create many many instances of uh, Airflow. You can only you can just uh, create one cluster of uh, Dolphin scheduler and then can control everything. So you can up upgrade upgrade the the cluster of a Dolphin scheduler. So you needed to create many many instances of uh, Airflow, and uh, also we control the resource. Uh, I think Airflow is just to control the trigger dependency, right? The task, but the uh, Dolphin scheduler can control the resource in in Yang or Kubernetes. So uh, it can do. Uh, you can use Dolphin scheduler to 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 control the task uh, priority or the workflow priority uh, more smoothly. So I think that that's pretty different. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But so asking the same question this in a different day, like, is there a particular gap you were trying to fill with the Dolphin scheduler that Airflow left out? Was it the the no code piece that it prompted the start of this project, or was it something else? You mean gap? What would be different? Gap, 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 gap in the workflow scheduling, let's say tools. Was there something that was missing in uh, Airflow that? Yeah. For first, yeah. First is uh, is a uh, design decentralized and uh, is design uh, and implement in Java, so it's uh, actually a, a distributed system, and uh, we just uh, can uh, uh, can integrate with uh, Kubernetes very well. So uh, so I think it's uh, it's not 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 the same way. You know you know Airflow is just deploy implement in Python and. The, Easy to use and a very very good good tool. A Dolphin scheduler is much bigger, <laughs> and you can control the resource and the many many things. Yeah. So so that's the difference I think. Yeah. That is just a comment because that like. But when you started the yeah that was probably true. Now it's pretty much Airflow has a, a lot of the things that you have as well, like the multi yeah. you know multi mask multi schedule. Yeah 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 yeah. But. But my question is other. Uh, the when uh, are you going to support uh, open lineage API like from the last talk? Is fine. Uh, yeah. Because that, that would seem like a, a natural progression. Open uh, open lineage API is a is a standard. Uh -huh. It's is really like uh, independent from like what implements it. You know, I, I just uh, know the open linkage uh, just just now, yeah. and we can discuss in the community. I think if everyone wants to use it, we, we should. I think so. Well, great, because uh, because I see the value of having the uh, like different implementations of the, the schedulers and being able to run both of them and exchange the data over the open yes API, and that would be fantastic yeah. because yes, there is a place for everyone. Like yes, yes. I, actually, I I I think the, the, if there are standard for 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 uh, dependency and triggers, that more be better. <laughs> you know. So Airflow and the Dolphin scatter, every everybody can use the same thing and generate the 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 workflow. They need the other tools. <laughs> yeah. What? Uh, uh, okay. Be, okay. How is a user and access? User user of what? This is a centralized. Yeah, a user excellent. Okay. So actually, we support uh, a multi tenant and the multi projects. So you can. Create a projects for and uh, uh, and uh, give the, this project some resource and uh, some uh, some uh, uh, some like uh, young slots or Kubernetes pause. Then uh, you can use a multi tenant to control the the privilege for for each user. Is that uh, this the management of uh, the worker access or domain uh, unfilled access to the the server? Yeah, yeah, you can you can control the the resource in Kubernetes and the or in the Yang, in Dolphin Scheduler. For example, you perhaps use a, for example, you use a ten, uh, uh, one hundred CPU, of a pause for for this resource, and give one project, 
and uh, every user in this project can only one use this one, 100 CPUs. These workflows and they be triggered by event systems. Uh, <laughs> very good question. And uh, uh, now we just uh, uh, do not support event trigger, you mean event trigger. And uh, you can implement yourself, or I think the commercial version support event trigger. <laughs> So that different open source version did not support it. Uh, yeah, yes, it has a RESTful API, and also you have it has a Python API, and uh, okay, you use Python or or uh, or other things. Five, you know, five minutes, just five minutes. Okay, uh, okay. Uh, yeah. I have a question on that, like the plugin builder, and it's like, are you having? these different vendors coming in to in their plugins, like say maker plugin you mentioned, ML flow plugin or is it the is it mostly driven by the core some core members of the and company that they were trying to increase the use cases. You mean uh, you you mean plugins? So means the the UI com the for example for ML box you you mentioned that you had to build few plugins like ML flow, SageMaker, EVC all of these plugins oh. will contribute. Well, uh, our user contribute them, <laughs> and uh, 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 think, uh, 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 I think I think in in for MLOps, uh, so the feature store called MLDB uh, contribute the, the feature themselves, and uh, we not only have uh, the machine learning, but also the, some uh, MySQL, SQL procedure, something like that. And many users can trip that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you mentioned the uh, drag and drop it. Yes, yes. Uh, what's the programmatic way to create these uh, DAGs? Is it like a JSON or something? Or uh, Yes, we have uh, two, way, two other ways. For, for example, Python, like this, you can generate the, just like Airflow, <laughs> you can generate pass. And we are another, have another of a YAML. You can, you can generate YAML because some, so someone like the YAML file. And the, that thing. So we get to make the what percentage of users are, let's say, creating in completely in drag and drop versus what percentage of users are going to YAML or file. Um, now we, we, we support from passing a demo to the, the, the drag and drop to the DAG, and you can uh, modify the, the DAG in the interface. But we do not support the backward. For example, you generate uh, a DAG, a, a workflow from passing, and then you can uh, modify the workflow in the interface by drop and drop, but, but it cannot be back. For example, passing can use a four at the white hole. The other things that they, we cannot generate back. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hold it. He said any kind of metrics that are you know, available for the admin, like or a workflow, which components are taking time more, or uh, where is the failure rate more proposed? Ah, uh, we support we support many uh, many ways for 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 the failure uh, for the failure uh, processing. Uh, sometimes we we can retry that three times or and sometimes and uh, you can define that in your task and also we have a we call the uh, uh rerun all the workflow if you want so uh it's a, some some functions near your task there, there will, will be some parameters we can you can just uh, try yeah yeah so uh is that a way where you can uh, dynamically create the work rules like i know there's a pipe that's a core yeah but that MAT, can you add it look out in the Northwind schedule or link out? Uh, yeah, yeah, we, we support that. We we got the support for this in, in this. Yeah, and then you can demand it, the, the, the man, uh, the man, uh, you, you, get, you can generate that with goal. Uh, it's to the side this question, can we clear these using the FTP? Uh, the, uh, we'll, we'll, what can you hear? Uh, we'll, 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 we'll the event of the list will actually be a bit. Is that possible? You mean the same same API as Airflow? <laughs> no, no, I think it's different. It's different. It's different. It's different because we the task is different and the end of the whole process is different. Uh, Passing is similar, but but uh, 
I think it's different. It's different. <laughs> you cannot you cannot use the same Python file to so you say for what the stuff. Let's say submit the YAML and create the workload directly with the API. Yep. So, do you have an API with which I can inject the YAML? Like I can pass the YAML and it creates the workflow in the Dolphin schedule. To from YAML to to where? To both both the YAML file through the API to generate the workflow. Uh from YAML to the API and to the workflow. We we just uh, generate the workflow just from the YAML. That's a so I'm running out of the map, by the way. Yeah. So, so any other questions? I think this this is all for my <laughs> for for my session here. And from the airflow to DOS. Oh. <laughs> well, it's a uh, it's a uh, it's a very good question. Yeah. Uh, actually, many Shane. There was an example. Uh, yeah. Shane is an example. That migrate, that migrate from Apple fit because if you have a many many tasks, so Dolphin Scheduler is uh, is better to use because one cluster. If you have a small task, so so you need to use Dolphin Scheduler. <laughs> so thank you very much. Thank you.